hi welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing something really colorful and really fun we're gonna be playing with blue eyeshadows so I have two ColourPop eyeshadows that we're gonna play with today I have this one called school bus this was from the Hello Kitty collection and then I have hydroplane oh this was also hello oh hydroplane was Hello Kitty no school bus is Hello Kitty hydroplane was the Amanda Steele collab that ColourPop did so I'm going to switch those because it's going to bother me. So we're going to be playing with this. Isn't that? It's gorgeous. We're going to be playing with that today. And then I also have my Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. And we're going to... Let me see if I can... I also have an Urban Decay... I also have the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. So we're going to play with some of the blues in here as well. Maybe. I don't know. I've only done this once before and I don't remember how I did it. So we're just going to play around. Um, yeah. So as you can see, I've done the rest of my makeup already, so I'm really just going to focus on the eyes in this video. So let's get to it. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion just like I always do because this stuff, like, really, really blocks everything on. Like, I have to scrub and scrub to get my eyeshadow off at the end of the day when I use this. So I'm a big advocate of this. Oh, I forgot to say, even though I've already done, like, Sorry, even though I've already done the base of my like face and everything like that, I just went with something matte for my foundation today and a really neutral blush. Um, my highlighter is actually like a purple and blue color. It's just not coming through on the camera, but I thought that I would do something a little bit blue or purple so that it will like play with the eyes a little bit, but everything else I kept really simple. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is take School Bus and put this... It's a little bit shiny. This is in a pearlized finish, so it's not matte, but it's not metallic. And I'm going to take some of this and try to put that in my crease just so that my crease is a little bit darker. So I'm just really lightly putting School Bus on here because it is dark blue. So uh, I'm not sure how well this is working. I'm going to use Minx instead. So Minx is this bottom blue from the Full Spectrum palette. I don't want too much, but I'm going to use that instead. Why is it leaving lines? I honestly feel like I've already messed it up and we just started. Because for some reason it's just not blending well. Like, do you see this? It's just not looking good. I'm going to switch brushes, maybe, I don't know. It just, that does not look good. Maybe I'm going to take blindsided, which is this one, and try to just, yeah, this looks really bad. I don't know what to do. I'm taking metamorphosis, which is the lightest blue, and I'm just trying to, like, get everything to look blended together at this point. Because I'm going to cover my whole lid with hydroplane, so if I can just get this to not look like I have a black eye... That would be awesome. This doesn't have anything on it. I'm just going to try and like diffuse the situation a little bit. I've done this before. I don't know why it looks like this. And I'm suddenly sweating so much. It's real humid in New York. It's real, real humid. I'm going to put Hydroplane on top. I really, really like this color. This is what I used the last time I did this. And for this one, I used my finger. And I'm just going to press it onto my lid. A lot of ColourPop eyeshadows work best if you just put them on with your finger. Because sometimes brushes just don't want to pick them up. Yeah, that's looking better. I don't think I have to start this whole video over. <laughs> I am going to take just the brush that has nothing on it. And it has a really interesting shape. So I'm going to take the like taller side and put it like right where Hydroplane meets all those colors in my crease and just sort of try to you know marry them together a little bit so I'm gonna try the other side now without using school bus first because I feel like school bus just made me look like I got punched in the eye so I'm just gonna sort of mix the three blues together like I did the first time these do have shimmer in them and I know a lot of people don't like to use shimmer in their crease but this is like this is just an an over-the-top eye look in general so I don't think it's that big of a deal. So I know that this was limited edition and they don't have it anymore. So if you, any blues you have, like 
go ahead and use them. ColourPop has a lot of really great blues. The uh, Beige Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette has blue. I think those are the only things I have in my collection that have blue in them. But any blues you have, whatever hues and shades you're into, go for it. So back to Hydroplane. This is a ultra glitter finish. I mean, clearly, but... <laughs> Okay, just press it on the lid. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes. This really wasn't as complicated as it needed to be. I was like, I'm gonna do such a simple, easy, like colorful look, like people aren't gonna believe how easy it was, and then it, it turned into a giant mess. But it really wasn't that bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this Jordana Easy Liner Retractable Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Sterling Blue, and I just got this, just got this. So I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line and then blend that out. Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm gonna take a little bit of blindsided, again, that middle blue shade, and just blend that out with the brush that came with the full spectrum thing. It's like a flat brush. That is just blue. I cannot believe how blue this is. Okay, I'm gonna take, not school bus. I don't, I don't want anything to do with school bus right now. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of this Amanda Steele and ColourPop again. I am going to take some of this on a brush because I want it on my lower lash line and if I put it on my finger it'll end up all over the place and that's not what we want. That's not what we want. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this pretty much on like the inner third of my eye and I'm going to try and like try to stamp it on. I just took a little bit of Iced which is just this silvery glittery color from the Full Spectrum palette and popped it right in the inner corners. For under the brow I'm going to go back to the highlight I used on my face. This is Colourpop as well and this is Honeymoon. This is a super shock cheek in a pearlized finish and I'm trying to get it to reflect as blue and purple as it is in real life. Oh that you could kind of see the purple for a second. Trust me, it's like a blue-purple finish, which I thought was perfect because you know, people are doing like monochrome looks lately, usually with like light pinks or corals or things like that, where like their lips, their eyes, and like everything is kind of the same shade. Um, I'm not going to put blue lips on today because I'm just not going to, but I thought that like kind of playing my eyeshadow and my highlight off of each other would be fun. I always feel like whenever I do blue or like green or something like this that it makes me look like a mermaid or something like that. Like if you have some sort of mermaid festival convention to go to, this is the look for you. For mascara, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Excessive Lash sample that I got in my Ipsy bag. I think that lashes would look so good with this because it would just pull everything together and it would be so dramatic and so full glam, but apparently I don't have any lash glue. so. I can't put lashes on. I would, but I, I, I can't. So I'm just gonna pop on this mascara, which I really like. I haven't stopped using this since I got my Ipsy bag last week because I think it lengthens so well. It's not too clumpy. It does clump a little bit if you're not careful, but I, I think it just lengthens my lashes better than any mascara I have. It adds a little bit of volume too, but I really... I'm just really impressed with the lengthening. So at the end of the day, I'm really happy with how this eyeshadow look turned out. Um, I'm gonna bring my hair down and maybe decide on a lip color, something kind of neutral, nude-ish. Um, but I'm really happy with how it actually turned out after we got it blended. I wanted to do something just like really simple, like a simple blue look. Like you don't need to be afraid of using colors, like look how easy this is. And then it ended up not being so easy. I mean, at the end of the day, it ended up okay. I think I was just being a tiny bit dramatic. But uh, yeah, I'm going to bring my hair down. We'll decide on a lip color and wrap this video up. All right, so I let my hair down, added a couple beachy waves to it. Just because we're going for a whole mermaid look, apparently, what's better than beachy waves? So I'm just going to add a nude lip. I'm going to use this Ofra lip liner in the shade Silk, and I'm going to top it with this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip in the shade Butterscotch. This is actually a lip gloss, but it has a lot of pigment to it, 
And so we're going to use that. And I'm actually going to fill my entire lip in with the Ofra liner. This is obviously not the full size gloss. I think I got this with, I don't know, some sort of purchase on Ulta, but it is a pretty opaque gloss. So we're just going to pop that right on top. I actually really, really like this gloss because like it's called butterscotch lip gloss, but it smells like butterscotch as well. It's just, I love this gloss. Okay, so that is the finished look. Just these bright blue eyes that match my hair. I hope you enjoyed this video, even with the mishap with the blending at the beginning of the video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you liked this video. It is free to subscribe. And please like this video, comment on this video, whatever you want. But I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.